Hey, good evening, my Facebook and YouTube family. I'm excited, taking up this challenge to do a video a day over the next seven days, which yesterday was day number one. I share my testimony on how God saved me from cancer and what the devil meant for bad. God turned around for good. Before I advance on this uh, Facebook Live and YouTube channel, uh, if you would, if you're watching by Facebook, would you hit share and share this to your timeline and also comment below where you are watching from. And if you're on YouTube, would you mind sharing uh, this video with somebody uh, that could really use to be ministered to? And if you aren't subscribed to my YouTube channel, would you please subscribe and leave a comment down below? Maybe ask some questions about something that you'd like to learn about from the Lord. Uh, if you'll post that question, it helps me produce content just like this. So today I have titled this video, you know, developing your appetite, developing your appetite. And as many of you know, or, or maybe you don't know, is that my wife Jacqueline and I are actually health coaches. We've been health coaching for about the last three years. We, we lost a ton of weight. We've been maintaining. We've helped over 400 people in the last three years. And one of the things that I find that people uh, mention to us throughout different seasons and different things is they'll say, well, I just don't like certain foods, or I just don't like that. And one of the things that I find that people say is they, they say, well, I, you know, we could be, we're really big about people drinking water. And we'll say things like, you know, you can't lose the weight. You can't achieve your health goals without water. And people will respond to us and say, well, I just don't like water. I just, I just don't like the taste of water. And people, you know, some people moan, whine, cry about that. And so what we teach people who struggle with their water intake is this, is we tell them the first thing they need to do when they wake up in the morning is they need to get a bottle of water and they need to drink the water. They need to just push through and down 16 ounces of water first thing in the morning. Why do we teach people to do that? Because did you know that the first thing that you put into your body is the thing that your body craves the rest of the day. The first thing that you put into your body is what your body begins to crave the rest of the rest of the day. So if you can be consistent in putting water in your body first thing in the morning, you begin to your body begins to crave that and you actually develop an appetite. You develop an acquired taste for water. And you know, did you know that the same thing happens spiritually? Come on, somebody. Do you know what the Bible says in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 33? Is a seek ye first the kingdom of God and all its righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Did you know that when you spend time with the Lord, when you let the first thing that you goes into your eye gate and your ear gate is the word of the Lord? that you can actually develop an appetite for the word. You know, the Bible says, uh, you know, Paul told Timothy to, that people need to, or in 1 Peter, I believe it says, to crave the pure milk of the word. And as believers, there is, as a, as, a, as a believer, as a new believer, especially a baby in Christ, a baby desires milk naturally, and a believer will naturally crave the milk when they're when they're born again. But sometimes what happens is, because that baby needs milk. But you know, if you put Coca-Cola in that baby's bottle, guess what happened? Is That baby will begin to not crave milk, but will actually begin to acquire a taste and an appetite for Coke. And so for the rest of that baby's life, it desires Coke. And Coke, you know, it's killing us. It's got sugar. It's got carbonation. It's, you know, it's eating, you know, it's corroded in your, you know, it's just eating away. The acid is eating away on your insides. And so, what happens is that baby, that child, acquires a taste for Coca-Cola and it really sets it up for not to have good health the rest of its life because it developed this appetite. So look here, guys. For the Word of God, if you're putting things in your eye gate and your ear gate first thing in the morning that are not good for you as a believer, then guess what? It's going to affect your health. It's going to affect your walk with the Lord. It's important that you spend time in this Word. See my Bible right here, y'all? Huh? Y'all see that? It's important that we let the word, we let the word of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord, we spend time with God. That the first thing that we take in in the morning is our time with the Lord. Can I tell you 
that you know, if, if somebody struggles with drinking water, if they'll just take two or three swallows out of that bottle of water every morning until they begin to develop an appetite, they'll get a taste for water. If some of you are struggling getting in your word, if some of you are struggling when you walk with God, if you'll just take a little taste, if you'll taste and see, just a little nibble, if you will taste and see that the Lord is good every morning, by spending time in his word, even if it's just one verse, let the first, instead of popping open your Facebook app or your Instagram or your instant messages and seeing that come through your eye gate first thing in the morning, maybe you just get your Bible app open and read one verse. Get on your knees and pray the Lord's Prayer. Even if that's all you got, if, that's, if that would give you some sort of structure, let just get a little taste of the Lord first thing in the morning. It sets the tone for your day. Listen here what the book of Job says in chapter number 23 and in verse, where is it at? I done lost my place, y'all. It's in verse number 12, Job 23, verse 12. It says, I have not departed from the command of his lips. I have treasured the words of his mouth more necessary than my daily food. Listen, if you will value this more than the food you put in your mouth, in other words, if you'll put Bible before breakfast, my God, before you put maybe even that water in your mouth, maybe before you go and get a bite of eggs, an omelet, a breakfast sandwich, whatever it is, a bowl of cereal, whatever it is you're going to eat before breakfast. How about we get that Bible before breakfast? How about we would live by the standard, no read, no feed. Come on, somebody, because we should desire our God more necessary. It actually says in Job that he treasured his word more necessary than my daily food. Do you treasure the things of God that you would put it first? First things first. What you do first thing in the morning sets the tone for your day. I heard an illustration, and I'll close with this, one time of, a, of two lumberjacks that were going to have a contest as to who could cut down the most trees in a day. One was an older lumberjack up in his upper 60s, and then there was a younger lumberjack in his prime, in his 20s, and they were going to go and have a contest in a whole day, see who could cut down the most trees. And when the, the sound, they sounded the alarm to begin the contest between the old and the young, the young guy just starts cutting down a tree, just swinging that axe as hard as he can. The older man didn't even take a swing at the tree when the alarm was sounded. He took his axe, and for the first hour of the competition, he spent the first hour sharpening his axe. Guess who won the competition? The older man outdid the younger man, even though the younger man was in his prime. Why? Because he sharpened the blade of his axe. Listen, if you will sharpen the blade of your life by spending time with God, no matter how little or how much it is, every day, if you'll spend your first part of your day with God, it'll sharpen the blade of your life and you will slice right through that day. Amen? So when you will put this word in your heart, if you'll spend time with the Lord, you will develop an appetite for the things of God. God bless you. Appreciate you guys tuning in. If this blessed you, please share it. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go there, Grady Watson. Hit that subscribe and also hit, hit that bell so you get uh, notifications when I post videos. And if you do, please post your questions. Uh, questions help me post content and upload content just like this. Amen. God bless you. Look forward to tomorrow's video. Stay tuned.